My name is Nick Cicchetti. I am a VR video producer and a creative project manager for YouTube VR. VR for health benefits, it's an emerging area of uh, research. Uh, it's still in very early nascent stages, but there has been research that suggests if you put a patient in a 360 or VR experience uh, before they go um, under local anesthesia for surgery or um, some sort of dental procedure. Uh, if you place them in an experience, their heart rate goes down and then the patient then needs, um, requires less anesthesia. This is incredibly important for younger patients uh, because there's real risk that the anesthesia can have negative consequences because their bodies aren't fully developed or their um, weight is less. Um, and on the physical side, I know physical therapists in America are utilizing VR to help um, shorten rehab periods. Um, so I know one use case is if you injure yourself doing a sport, say skiing or playing soccer, um, they notice that while rehabbing that injury, um, say it's your ACL, they were con the patient was compensating and not getting the, the full lateral movement. That is what they're trying to recover on, um, and that is due to mental blockers where um, their body will shut down and not let them really do that move, that maneuver that they did while they're injured. So if you put them in a soccer or skiing experience, uh, their brain can kind of connect the dots, and then they're f they're more free to make those lateral movements, and ultimately it reduces um, recovery time. Um, and the last one is I, I know there are some instances that people are using it to um, get into a meditative state. It kind of blocks um, all the thoughts you have: work, life, girlfriend, husband homework, um, bills, everything that kind of clouds our brain. So if you develop a piece of content that is very calming and serene um, and keeps their focus uh, outward, um, it has benefits of uh, getting you into a meditative state uh, sooner and longer. Hi, my name is Devin Endo, and I'm a producer at VR Scout. VR can have a lot of positive effects on the human body, and you can also think of it as a way to escape. So sometimes we can be very bogged down in our own minds and get cloudy thoughts, and maybe you want to travel somewhere else, maybe you want to see something different. Being able to put on a headset and relive a moment that you're actually there can get you out of your own headspace and result in a clear mind. Hi, I'm Eric Chevalier, co-founder and CEO of VR an immersive media company in Los Angeles. Well, VR in general is used in the treatment of a lot of different conditions, and um, some of the things that we've seen over the past have been VR for uh, patients in pain treatment, um, in pain distraction. We've seen VR as um, treatment for soldiers with PTSD, for weight loss, for anxiety, for phobias, a lot of exposure therapy type of treatments. Um, and ways where we want to be able to use an immersive environment to distract or um, focus or get used to some of the things that we're not necessarily used to. Hi, I'm Zaina Babish. Um, I'm originally from Istanbul. I work at VR Scouts. And one of the ways I think um, how VR will help health is definitely more. Um, how it can help mental health. I've been seeing a lot of, for example, meditation applications and um, a lot of uh, VR experiences that are help you to be more mindful and help you to meditate. So say like, you know, you live in a busy city and you have this VR experience that lets you go into a very nice um, open field that you get to have this little escape from the chaotic world that goes around us. So. Um, I think those kinds of apps will help the most with health. Hi, I'm Charlotte. I am a 2D and immersive director, and this is Leibor. I'm Leibor Janicek from YouTube Space LA. There, I play the immersive technology lead.
And I think that the places where I see um, the biggest health benefits in VR are possibly in these um, really transformative experiences, um, like ones that Marshmallow Laser Beast, for example, make here in London. And um, they had a great exhibition called The Ocean of Air, where you kind of could see your body and the blood flow flowing through your veins at the same time that you could see water droplets transpiring up a, up a tree in this beautiful sort of natural environment. Um, and it, that was such a sort of meditative, meditative state. Um, that it really just really transported me out of my everyday and all the stresses that go with everyday. Um, and I also think that it, VR can have a really um, great impact, not only in helping people um, with mental health problems, but also um, in helping others to understand mental health issues. Like there was a great piece from um, the National Autistic Society called Too Much Information, where you kind of stepped into the shoes of a boy um, who was being taken to a shopping mall by his mother and just found all of the inputs in that space completely overwhelming, and that was a really powerful um, experience. So I think there's many different applications probably within the kind of health sector. You're 100%. One thing I've experienced, I hate getting shots. So what I do is put on a headset and I feel, feel no shot when they prick it into my arm, nor if I get burned and they have to scrub it off, put me in a headset, I no longer feel the pain, I no longer need the morphine to take that pain away. So the virtual reality helps pain relief. Hi. So what do you think? How will VR affect our health? Please let me know in the comments below.